Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back at the listed property over in Kent and we're gonna be removing a cast iron soil stack, replacing it with a plastic one so we can change the toilet location in the master on suite. Okay, so we've just got the triple ladder set up and I'll just show you the stack we're gonna be taking down. So this stack over here on the right uh, needs to be removed so we can accommodate the new toilet location in the master on suite. So the interior designer has decided they're not happy with the current toilet location and we're gonna be moving it. But the issue is where it tees through into the wall is above ground floor level and it can't be moved. So what we need to do is bring a new plastic stack up and bring it in between the first floor joists and the ceiling voids, run it underneath the first floor joists, then up against the side wall where they want the toilet located. So um, it shouldn't be too bad. It's only double story. So the only issue being is cast iron can be pretty heavy, especially when you're working out off a uh, ladder. So we need to be quite careful. So what we do is we'll start from the top, work our way down. I've got a large grinder with us, so we should be able to cut straight through it if needs be and get it out. Okay, so we're halfway there now, and that's the pile of the cast pipe that we've taken down. It did start to monsoon as soon as I climbed up the ladder, so I definitely picked a bad day to do it. Um, so basically what I've done is I've just got the grinder cut out in sections and round the collars and the T-piece. I've just had to basically hit it with a hammer just to free it all up. So we're halfway there. I'm also gonna take down this smaller cast stack on the left, which used to accommodate the basin and bath waste. So yeah, making good progress and hopefully be down shortly. Just waiting for this rain to die off a bit. Okay, so we're up on the first floor and this is the bathroom that we're trying to get that saw pipe into. So ignore the red writing on the wall. That's actually not the correct location. So what we're doing is we're bringing a saw pipe between the first floor joist and the ground floor ceiling void. So we're gonna do it from the inside as it's absolutely pouring down outside. So. I'm just going to core a five inch hole through there, bring the saw pipe in, and then this wall up here is going to be built off uh, just to allow the saw pipe to come through the floor because there's some joists down there in the corner. Right, so we've got the stack all down now and we're starting to put the new plastic pipe work up because the rain's finally stopped. So what we've done is we've cut the um, cast stack at low level and then we've used a cast to uh, plastic saw pipe adapter. It was ridiculously tight but it is in there now so first of all you need an access point um, just in case you have any blockages or rodding they're not particularly nice visually but you've got to have them so from there we're just gonna have a straight length going up uh, straight into a boss and then into a T and then that will allow us to pick up all our waste pipe work okay so the stacks all up now um, as you can see we are just putting the tea through the wall here and then that will obviously pick up our toilet. I've left the boss in underneath just in case we need that but I am hoping that the shower and the basins will actually um, boss into the saw pipe on the inside as that's underneath the um, finished floor level. So what we will do eventually is put another length of pipe up here with an air admittance valve but um, I just want to make sure we can actually remove all these old pipes on the inside first before I take it too far. So. Yeah, it was a bit of a wet one today, but that is done and we can uh, move on hopefully tomorrow to start first fixing the bathrooms. Okay, so it's the next day now and we've moved upstairs to the master shower room and we're going to start first fixing it. Okay, so the starting point of getting this bathroom first fix is to bring in our hot and cold feeds and our flow and return from the main manifold run through the hallway. So if you'd watched any of our previous videos, you would have seen this main manifold section runs all the way throughout the first floor of the property. So I've just teed in my hot and colds there, leaving the hot return. 
And then as I run a pipe through the joist, I'm just taping it just to indicate which is hot and cold so we don't make any mistakes while we're first fixing. I've also got a T in, um, some 15 mil pipe to run to a radiator which is going under that window. So what we are having is a shower tray over here on the left as you walk in with shower head, shower arm with riser and the valve is going to go somewhere over here so you don't get wet as you're entering the shower and turning it on. Um, yeah, radiator, traditional style underneath the window and then double vanity unit there, just where Bailey's working on that side. So uh, we've got quite a bit to do. Um, that's that soil pipe that we brought in uh, yesterday. So today we're mainly gonna focus on getting the copper work done and then hopefully start tomorrow getting the waste pipe work in. Right, we're a few hours in now, we're starting to make good progress. Uh, Bailey has opted to get the waste in first, which is a good idea really because We've got two vanity units going in and what we don't want to do is um, get the copper pipes in the way of the waste pipe work to prevent us getting a correct fall. So he's pretty much got this one first fix over here so it's looking good. Again using the wall ravens, uh, really beneficial when you're first fixing copper. So we've got our hot return in and these two here are our flow return going to the towel radiator which I'll probably do last. And that is on site, so as long as the valves are here, we can set it up and get that done. So what I've been doing is setting up the shower valve. So again, another Leroy Brooks valves. Um, we have fitted a lot of these lately, so sorry if everything looks a bit similar. Um, so what I've done is I've mounted it on the wall ravens just to get the correct depth. And now I'm just checking to make sure that the shower plate is actually level. So I always put the green laser through the spindles, but quite often you'll find once you put the plate on, it's still not quite level but to be honest this time it's worked out well everything is spot on so once i've got this uh, set up where i want it to go i'll get the um, hand outlet back plate elbow on and also for the rail on the top and or shower arm sorry and then i'll start getting it all piped up Okay, so we're heading towards the end of the day now and we've got everything pretty much piped up other than the towel radiator, which is missing the radiator valve, so I don't want to risk it getting the pipes up through the floor without them here, so we'll leave that for now. So, um, we've tried to obviously minimise um, as much fittings as possible just to increase all the flow rate. So, unusually on these uh, Leafroy Brooks um, shower heads, you have to run in 22, so it's a three quarter outlet. So obviously you get a really good flow rate out of that. So yeah, it's really impressive actually when it's all operational. So yeah, that's all piped up. Again, everything's all done in copper, um, nailed and insulated just to make sure everything's secure. And yeah, we've used the wall ravens again just to secure the back plate elbows. Um, and yeah, so regarding the toilet, um, we're gonna be doing the waste tomorrow, but what we're doing is we're just poking out a um, cold feed pipe um, behind the back of the pan just because it's a back to wall toilet so that's all good to go and then Bailey's been hard at work getting the um, dual basins in on that vanity unit sorted so yeah that's all done as well so he sort of prepped the pipe work really on the waste side of it thing so we can just tee it all in together uh, where necessary and uh, tomorrow we just need to do a bit of planning just to work out the best route so yeah really happy with how this has gone today We'll be back tomorrow to get the waste in and get this bathroom done. Okay, so it's the next day now and unfortunately we've had quite a lot of people in and out of sight today so I haven't been able to film as we go along. But let me just show you what we've actually done today. So, like I said, we was coming in today to get the, mainly the waste pipes in. So, what we've done is we've brought the saw pipe out into the right location so we just left the spigot there just to join on for the toilet and then you can see here we've just run our 
inch and a half waste pipe straight into the T piece there and um, brought it through these joists here and that picks up our dual basin so um, we've run it in uh, 44 mil here and then reduced it down just to increase the flow rate as there's two basins so the other thing we've done is we run a waste pipe over to the freestanding bath, which is going over that side. So that's just poking through the wall at the moment, and waiting to be connected up to the existing soil stack. And yeah, basically just got it lagged and strapped in here. So um, this bathroom is pretty much done, other than the towel radiator, which we're still waiting for the towel radiator valve. So moving on to this section. So over here, we're actually having a freestanding bath with freestanding uh, taps right behind it and a little towel radiator here. So what I've done is I've just teed in here for the radiator that's going on the left and also the hot and cold feeds, pick up the freestanding bath taps and then also we've got the waste pipe there which I just need to pick up another limp some more just to run it into location. So the main issue we've got with these freestanding taps is you have to be able to access them from below. So what we're going to have to do is um, let the tiler um, get all the tiles down and we're going to have to drill back through them, cut the ceiling below and get them installed. So um, yeah, a little bit of a pain with that, but to be honest, it means that the first fix is quite easy. So right, so moving on to the next bathroom, uh, we've made a start on that. So this one is a little bit trickier, I would say with the waste, but we have come up with a plan. So. We are using the existing soil stack, which is there for the toilet, but originally the old, I think it must have been a bath, the waste is obviously above the floor level. So because we're putting a shower tray in, we can't have that and the shower tray is going on the deck. So what I've done is I've managed to um, cut a hole through this timber here and that goes straight into a boxed in soil sack. Um, in like the conservatory area. So it took a little while to figure out what we was gonna do, but now we've got that sorted, we can move on tomorrow. And Bailey's been setting up the next shower valve. So again, it's gonna be pretty much like for like with the shower on the other side. And yeah, just get everything in position. Very similar setup, so handrail and also the um, arm on the top. So. Yeah, we've done quite a lot today, although it doesn't look like it. I'm feeling it today, so we'll be back tomorrow um, to hopefully get this bathroom all finished. And then that'll be us pretty much done on this first floor. Okay, so it's Friday today, uh, final push towards the end of the week, and we're hopefully going to get this second bathroom finished. Uh, I'm just going to show you what we're doing. So if it's looking familiar to the last bathroom, that's because... It's the way we've kind of planned our pipework runs to be. So again, we're branching off here, hot and cold, running them straight along the wall ravens into the bathroom. And then same again here for the uh, radiator that's actually going under the window. So ignore this red, um, writing on the wall, that wasn't done by us and they're actually the wrong location. So um, I just wanted to um, sort of explain to you how we get these bends in for these pipes when they're so close together. So. What I generally do is, the one on the outside, I will bend the pipe going into it at 35 degrees and the pipe that's behind it, so the one that is really tight, at 45 degrees, so you need that steep angle so the pipe doesn't hit this pipe on its way in, so that's how I get those in nice and neat. Okay, so we're heading towards the end of the day now and we've got this bathroom pretty much all piped up other than the towel radiator. So again, we've used those wall ravens, got the pipework all in, clipped, lagged, nailed down, all secure. Bailey's got the shower valve in. Um, we've had to step it in slightly from the other side or the other bathroom just because this is a structural timber. So spoken to designer, moved that along slightly, kept it the same height and then the shower outlet and a handset are appropriate to the shower tray, which is 100 mil bigger than the other side. So in this one, we've only got one basin, which is going against this stud wall here. So that was simple enough. I just took the hot and cold feeds from the main manifolds, 
and then teed off here for the cold water mains. Um, this waste pipe that you can see here, we've just left that side open at the moment for the shower tray, and then this one is picking up our basin. So we have made really good progress on this job now. So we've pretty much finished the whole of the first floor other than the trays and the radiator. So we just got a bit of snagging to do, nail down the pipes, get the insulation in, and then we can move downstairs to the final bathroom on this side of the house. 